The other day I was shopping at Woolworths and needed to buy a cucumber. I wouldn't normally buy out-of-season fruit and vegetables, but my children really do like cucumbers and it's one of the few fresh vegetables — fruit, whatever — that they like to eat. Cucumbers are selling for like $2.50 each. A bit steep, but that's the price you have to pay — it being the middle of winter and all. Anyway, I went to one of those self-service checkouts — you know the ones, the ones taking away the need for Woolworths to pay checkout operators. I scanned my goods and headed off. As I was walking out of the shopping centre, I checked my receipt, as I normally do to make sure that I haven't been ripped off. But as it turns out, I hadn't paid for my $2.50 cucumber. The machine hadn't picked up on it, and I hadn't noticed until now. I thought to myself, ah, screw them. They didn't notice, and Woolworths aren't exactly the most ethical supermarket chain. Woolworths have recently been sued for underpaying their staff. This isn't the first time that it's happened. Back in 2019, they were caught underpaying their staff to the tune of nearly $300 million. Not to mention that their self-service checkouts have now got cameras in them, which show your picture in the top right-hand corner. That also caused a bit of a furor in recent months. Positively shocked, Woolworths hits back over new self-service surveillance furor. According to their Twitter account, in response to a customer named Sally, Hi Sally, that's not the case. As we've said, the image at checkouts is just a reflection on the screen and is not recorded. That hasn't changed. Like most retailers, we do have CCTV in our stores, which is why we make reference to cameras in the updated privacy policy. So apparently, the image on the top right-hand corner is just a reflection. Why do they need to use a camera then? Why don't they just put a physical mirror? And why in the hell do they need to show us our reflection? Is it so that we can do our hair? Anyway, with all this controversy, I thought to myself, they can afford to lose an overpriced cucumber. But a few minutes later, as I was walking home, I was racked with guilt. Two wrongs don't make a right, right? So I did the right thing and took the cucumber back and told them that the machine hadn't scanned it properly and that I hadn't paid. Anyway, the girl at the counter couldn't have been less interested. She just scanned it for me and I paid her the $2.50 and went on my way. Here's the receipt that I just dug out of the wheelie bin to prove my innocence. Anyway, that's my little story on how I stole a cucumber and then returned it minutes later. I'm probably the world's worst criminal. Thank you.